Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so more Monster Inoue talk. You guys know that right now it is currently the road to Inoue versus Neri. It's going to be a momentous occasion. May the 4th, Tokyo Dome, you know, 50,000 plus expected. I mean, a rivalry fight. You can't really ask for much more in boxing than that, right? It's going to be a great event, fun fight, a lot of history. We know that uh, Neri has a big history with the Japanese in Japanese boxing. And in a way, I did a, a, a recent interview with Ring Magazine where, you know, he was asked in plain English, he was asked, you know, are you looking to get revenge for your countrymen? Shinsuke Yamanaka, you know, the former w, uh, WBC Bantamweight champion who, when he fought Neri, Neri tested positive for a banned substance in the first fight. Neri then came in overweight on purpose in the second fight and knocked him out. So he, there, was a, there was a ban that was put on Neri. The Japanese Box Commission lifted that ban just for this fight because they're of the mindset that Inoue is going to whoop this dude, right? But he's still a very dangerous and dynamic offensive fighter and he cannot be overlooked. But here's what Inoue said about getting revenge for Yamanaka in the Neri fight. He stated the following, and I quote, I don't really think about that. This is a fight between me and Neri. What took place in the past has no bearing on it. But I find that he keeps talking about the Yamanaka fights. If Neri's camp digs up stories from the past, I will take that sentiment into account. If he continues to make such radical prov provocations, I will carry the feelings along with him too. So essentially, look, in, a, in the most eloquent way possible, in a way told Neri, keep running your mouth. Keep talking. If you keep talking about the Yamanaka stuff, I'm going to take it to heart and I'm going to beat the brakes off you. That, that's what he's saying. So um, I love it, man. I love it, man. Because, you know, I, I always think it's good in boxing when, you know, fighters have a little bit of um, disdain or they're a bit on edge or, the, or there's a bit of a storyline or a bit, a bit of a reason to get the fighters fired up. And this is more than enough to get Inoue fired up. You got to remember, this fight for Inoue is just not another towel defense. It's just not another fight. There's multiple things going on with this fight. You got to understand these things. He's going to be fighting at the Tokyo Dome, which I've already talked about on this channel. Nobody has fought in the Tokyo Dome since Mike freaking Tyson when he fought Buster Douglas. So that right there is already putting him in the icon status in Japan, right? Then on top of that, you have the Yamanaka thing, the storyline, the way that Japanese boxing fans, the Japanese Box Commission, the Japanese Box community, you have the way they feel about Neri. So he's essentially already fighting for the honor of his country. Then you got Neri's camp talking and, and, and shooting off at the mouth about the Yamanaka fights. So he's not just fighting for the titles. He's not just fighting for his increased stardom in the sport, reputation in the sport, and being pound pound number one. He's fighting for something much bigger than that, and that is the pride the glory and the honor of Japanese boxing, right? And that's that's in Japan. If there's one thing, if there's one thing I know about Japan is they take big pride in their culture and defending their their country, their, their culture with honor, pride, and dignity. So um, I love this man. I love it, and I hope, I hope Neri keeps talking. I hope Neri keeps running his mouth because I want to see a pissed off Inoue. I think it's fun. I think it's great. Like I really enjoyed when he fought Stephen Fulton, that face off they had, and he was. You could tell he wanted to beat the brakes off for and he, he ultimately wound up doing it so i would love to see um you know just just the most spirited uh hyped up win possible i know maybe some people may not like that in japan i'm you know in america we're, we're a little bit different we enjoy the the pageantry we enjoy the the back and forth we enjoy the trash talking we enjoy those things right i know in japan it's not like that it's a bit more quiet humble kind not to be confused with soft, because Japanese fighters definitely aren't that. They're not soft, but um, it makes for a good fight, right? And, 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 I, and I think a fight like this that's going to be in such a prestigious venue like the Tokyo Dome, it should have, uh, you know, things like this happening. It should have back and forth. So, um, yeah, Inoue's making his intentions very clear. He says if, if, if they keep running their mouth... He's going to carry all those feelings of, of, of all the feelings of frustration, all the feelings of, of what Japanese boxing fans and the commission and just the community in general feels towards Neri. He's going to bring every last ounce of that into the fight. 
And all I'll say is this. Neri is a guy that uh, when you look at his fights, when he fought Brandon Figueroa, he got folded up and stopped with a liver shot. He's a guy that's a bit of a gunslinger. He likes to throw punches from here and here. And he's, he breaks some rules fundamentally. He better find a way to keep his defense nice and tight when he fights anyway. Because mark my words, the pain, the frustration, the just just any any uh, any passionate emotion I could possibly think of in the in the English language in the world, it's gonna be behind every punch, you know. And I think if there was ever a fight, because I've always told you guys, my favorite rivalry in boxing ain't Puerto Rico versus uh, Mexico. Nope, it ain't USA versus Mexico. It ain't UK versus Mexico. My favorite rivalry in boxing is Japan versus um, Mexico. Because when you get to the little weight classes, you know, like 126, 22, 118, you know, 115, 112, 108, you know, Mexico and Japan have a big presence in these weight classes. And I think when you match up an elite Japanese fighter and an elite Mexican fighter in these weight classes, it makes for some of the best fights in boxing. So um, I think there's be no different. And I think just the Yamanaka situation looming over the fight it makes it uh just that more much more interesting but that's the news guys what do you guys think about what Inoue is saying about Neri and his comments about Yamanaka and how he's gonna pretty much carry those feelings into the fight if he keeps running his mouth about the Yamanaka thing uh let me know let me know in the comments down below what kind of chance are you giving Lewis Neri a lot of people aren't giving him a chance um I'm obviously favoring Inoue I think Inoue will beat Neri but I think Neri is one of the most dynamic offensive fighters in a way has ever fought in his career and i do think he can present some problems for him at least in the first four to six rounds we'll see how it goes let me know what you guys think in the comments down below make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just giving daniel so until next time take your guys thank you for watching another video on the untouchable true school sports empire for more great boxing content just like this video click right here and make sure to subscribe much love from sunny South Florida.